All right, this is two and three force members. So when you recognize that a member is only gonna have two or three forces, it can simplify the problem. So two force members. If we had a member like this, A and point B, force A, you had force B, and if force B is equal to F, as well as force A is equal to F, and they are on the same line of action, it's a two-force member. So for it to be an equilibrium, the two forces acting on the member must have the same magnitude act in opposite directions and have the same line of action. Directed along the line joining the two points where these forces act. So this is a two force member because the magnitude is the same of F and the they are in opposite directions and have the same line of action which is directed along the line joining the two forces where joining the two points where the forces act. Okay. And a three force member will look something like this. could look like this. So for a three-force member, the moment equilibrium can only be satisfied if the three forces form a concurrent or parallel force system. So these three are concurrent because their line of actions all meet up at point O. And these are parallel. So this are two examples of a three-force member.